Hi everybody, Mike here. Thanks for watching. This is part two in the series of my new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera build. At the end of this video is a link to where I overview this system in more detail. After making my first test flight, I noticed when looking at the video, there was some severe jello in the video footage. See these shots here, how wavy it looks. This was totally unacceptable. When I first built this quad, I flew it for a while with a GoPro on it instead of the naked Blackmagic and also added some weights to emulate the weight and mass. And it flew it around and it flew very nicely. The GoPro video looked nice. There was no jello in it whatsoever. Once I switched to the naked Blackmagic variant, that's when the jello showed up, which led me to believe that the problem was in the camera system somehow. So I started looking really hard and closely at how the lens mounted to the camera. And I noticed that the lens felt very loose, very sloppy. I could easily move it with my hand in both twisting and up and down sideways motions as well. The fit was not tight. So what I did is I took one of my original Blackmagic pocket cinema cameras and I took the stainless steel lens mount off of that and swapped it out. This lens mount was slightly different dimensionally and the lens fit a lot tighter onto this. After making this change, the lens has no slop, no play in it whatsoever. I also noticed that the sensor board was not properly mounted. There are three screws that hold this on to the lens box and only one of them was fully tightened down. That might have contributed to the jello as well. So I went ahead and tightened all three screws. Another change I made is I swapped out the spacers that I had on the arms to larger diameter custom fabricated spacers that provided more surface area and more mounting rigidity. So this is the before with the jello problem. And this is after making the fixes much improved, much, much better. The jello is pretty much gone. This video has not been stabilized in post using any software like Gyroflow or anything like that. After that problem was fixed, I made some flights, but a friend suggested that I might want to change the motor frequency of the ESCs. I was running at 48 kilohertz, and to drop them down to 24 kilohertz to give them more thrust, more torque, more efficiency. So I made that change, and after a few flights, I've noticed looking at my video that there was some vibrations that I wasn't happy with. You can see here, looking at the mountains and trees in the distance, some shakes. You can also see it here in this video, and again in this shot as well. So I got on the internet like everybody and started watching YouTube videos, and I discovered that in Betaflight, there's a way, a method of looking at each motor and observing the vibrations that are present. So I did tests on the bench at 48, 24, and 16 kilohertz frequencies. And it turns out my motors were very noisy at 16 kilohertz, had some vibrations at 24, but they ran the smoothest at 48 kilohertz. So I put that setting back to 48 kilohertz. And after going back to 48 kilohertz, the video looks much more acceptable and those vibrations are mostly gone. So after that, I started fine-tuning the rates, the control rates for the sticks and the sensitivities. And I've really knocked down the, uh, the rates and uh, flattened out the curves so that I'd have more uh, control at the lower speeds and for my type of flying. Uh, this really improved the handling of the quad, especially for landings. Now I can land it with uh, much more control. One of the things I took a look at was the beta gels that are used to dampen the camera assembly from the frame. This is unique to this, this build. There's these uh, soft silicone gummy gels that take up some of the vibrations. And I've been uh, modifying the spacers that are inside this assembly using slightly shorter uh, spacers. And initial tests are preliminary, but it, they seem to have improved uh, the vibration dampening even further. What I need to do in the future is also continue uh, fine-tuning the PID settings, uh, testing different spacers in the beta gels, and then I'll also try different props 
I'll try flying this with some less aggressive props and uh, see how that uh, flies as well. My goal is to try to get this quad as vibration free without the need to use post stabilization and use that only for exceptions, not the norm. Anyways, this thing's coming together. Now that I've got this thing dampened out to an acceptable level, it's time to get out and do some flying and filming. So anyways, more video to come. Thanks for watching.